so the next uh, section for today is the campaign execution. Um, Sar from Double Verify will walk us through the various scenarios uh, for the campaign execution. Sar. Yeah, thank you, Shaley. Um, so, um, next slide, please. Uh, so, starting off, um, you know, uh, how to bid on a OMSDK inventory is uh, made apparent uh, via a new ID on OpenRTB spec starting version 2.0. Um, it's recommended that you don't, if you don't support the version, uh, the Emory tree option, ID number six, then, then you'll implement, uh, you'll, you'll skip that and go to ID seven. Uh, essentially, um, this will be available uh, via any ads SDK that, that kind of opens up an auction will transmit it on the uh, on the API list on the API framework list and also in responses uh, will be included as a flag um, next slide please um, so kind of two scenarios or two areas to cover is is Kind of publisher initiated measurement versus uh, advertiser initiated measurement. Uh, on the publisher side, uh, measurement provider tag can be injected uh, into the web view by the integration partners SDK. So uh, essentially, the ads SDK will be responsible for uh, the execution of the tag on behalf of the publisher. Uh, uh, and the second scenario, if a publisher has their own ad serving or some custom ad units, uh, they may inject it themselves. Um, on the you know, on the right side, the advertiser initiated measurement as um, you know, first scenario is an advertiser provides tag to a publisher that then injects it uh, via their um, their own integration. Um, and then the last one is um tag is included within the creatives html um you know and as long as it's injected into the same kind of view then uh, uh web view then um uh, it will be able to uh, hand check and communicate with the omid api uh, next slide please um so just deep dive into a native uh display a little bit so you know First off, these these three parameters on the left side, uh, top left side, are kind of the three parameters that will be needed in any execution. Uh, a vendor key is basically a string identifies the uh, measurement vendor. The verification resource URL is kind of the base URL for the uh, measurement tag. And the verification parameters are basically a set of IDs representing Client, advertiser, publisher, campaign IDs, uh, basically provided by the measurement uh, provider. Um, below, you can see a JSON representation uh, that could be uh, used um, uh, in event trackers uh, on OpenRTB. Um, responses, um, these IDs would need um, an event and a method. ID uh, on the same object. Uh, we recommend ID five five five. Um, and yeah, if you if you're supporting kind of an older version of the spec uh, one point one, then uh, you may still use the JS tracker, but that's that's really deprecated in later versions. So it's preferable to use uh, the uh, event trackers object, uh, and basically the JSON will be placed in the extension um, associated with it. Next slide, please. Uh, for video execution, the um, the VAST 4.1 spec is is upcoming. It's it's uh, kind of in final stages of preparation. Um, again, same same set of parameters need to be provided. Really the difference between 
VAS 4.1 on the left side and VAS 2, 3, and 4 on the right side is in VAS 4.1. This add verification node is kind of first class node in the uh, XML. Uh, in kind of an earlier version, this will be an extension. Um, you know, so we foresee the uh, versions 2, 3, and 4 extensions to be kind of dominant in market uh, in the beginning because it's easier and quicker to implement and VAS 4.1 is not released yet. But, uh, you know, over time, I, I suspect a lot of migration will happen to VAS 4.1. Uh, one thing to note is you may have multiple verification nodes within an add verifications uh, and also VAS wrappers or VAS redirects may include multiple. Uh, so as you unwrap a VAS tag from, from a player perspective, um, you'll, you'll have to kind of collect all of them together and execute all of them. Uh, next slide, please. Um, so uh, for summary, um, you know, for video web view, uh, publisher initiated, um, the measurement provider tag is inserted into the web view by the integration partner, the SDK. Um, for advertiser initiated in a web view scenario, this will be delivered via VAST, uh, either through the uh, node or an extension, an earlier version of VAST. Um, for native scenarios, publisher initiated, um, the tag will be um, generated directly and, and insert, injected via um, um, directly into the uh, web view. And for advertiser scenario, the tag will be uh, injected via the or provided via the response on the OpenRTB um, event uh, tracker object. And that's it.